very good morning. You're watching News 9 with me, Akshita. At first up, tracking the latest political update, Digvijay Singh has once again gone ballistic over BJP's prime ministerial candidate, Narendra Modi. After Modi slammed Congress in his rally yesterday for giving Ashok Chavan a ticket, Digi Raja today tweeted about BJP's corrupt ministers getting tickets, particularly Yadurappa. This is what uh, Digvijay Singh tweeted, Modi, Congress shameless for nominating Ashok Chavan. But Modi continues to have convicted minister in cabinet. Yet not shameless, Modi logic. He also goes on uh, to tweet, Chavan has no case in court, Yadurappa facing corruption charges in court, yet Modi doesn't talk about Yadurappa. Who is shameless? Well, this is uh, with regard to the comment that Narendra Modi had made uh, just yesterday. Uh, remember, Modi had raked up the Ashok Chavan ticket issue during his rally in Nandhid in Maharashtra. The BJP's prime ministerial candidate openly hit out at the Congress for giving the tainted former CM uh, a ticket for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. And now Digvijay Singh slamming uh, Modi for the same, stating that, uh, well, of course, once again pulling up the Yadurappa card. My colleague Vergis joins us over the phone line with more uh, information. Vergis, once again, Digvijay Singh taking on Modi and this time around slamming him for his uh, Congress's shameless comment. Well, at present, what we should understand is that this has a uh, text to it, in fact, a pretext to it. He was, uh, Digvijay Singh was actually uh, commenting on some of the uh, comments that have been made by its closest ally uh, from Maharashtra, the NCP, where they had said that Modi was, uh, he went to the extent of saying that he needs to be treated in a mental hospital for talking rubbish. So, he, uh, Digvijay was, in fact, commenting on all these things, and then he went on to attack to one of Modi's uh, statements, saying that uh, uh, with regards to the other scam, in fact, Ashok Chavan was involved and then the, he was the chief minister of Maharashtra was involved uh, in the scam and there was something that indicted him. So uh, based on that report, Modi went to suggest that is this the way that uh, uh, the Congress takes action on corrupt officials that was promised by uh, Rahul Gandhi by giving the person a ticket and then called uh, uh, him sh uh, shame, uh, sh the Congress shameless. But then after that, uh, this was a, a retort from uh, Digvijay Singh with regards to the fact that uh, a lot of people have come back into the BJP fold, especially with regards to uh, Sri Ramulu and Yadurapa and uh, the people who had left along with them into the KJP. So Yadurapa having to have to face a lot of corruption charges has been inducted into the BJP and it seems that uh, Modi is not talking about Yadurapa with regards to corruption on this matter, Akshita. And that is why uh, Digvijay took a dig back at the BJP for saying that though uh, it was talking on an anti-corruption uh, crusade uh, and a platform that uh, dwells on anti-corruption, but uh, at the same time, it seems that it's in its own house, there are issues that it needs to settle out. Akshita? Right, work is also, of course, not the first time the Congress has pulled up a Yadurappa stating that uh, he is corrupt and yet the BJP has managed to bring him in and also give him a ticket. Has BJP reacted to the Gwijay's tweet? Well, at present, uh, the, uh, a lot of people have, the, the BJP has hit back at Sharad Pawar as well as Digvijay's uh, tweet. In fact, uh, uh, they also went to the extent of saying that uh, taking support from the NCP, uh, if uh, there is a tie-up that could happen, it would be resulting in betraying the people of Maharashtra. Also, we must understand and the BJP has its allies in place in uh, in uh, Maharashtra, especially with the Shiv Sena and, and understanding with the MNS. Uh, but... Uh, uh, initially, you, uh, there were issues when the uh, B, uh, BJP's uh, Prime Minister Hopeful was in fact praised by uh, the, by uh, NCP Chief Sharad Pawar and later it was denied and now statements like this had come out. Uh, so the BJP in fact took the change in turn court and said that Pawar is not a person who could be trusted and that uh, uh, taking uh, support from uh, him would be tantamount to, uh, uh, to the ruinous nature of uh, its support base in uh, Maharashtra. Uh, right, work is also to a great extent it does seem uh, like uh, Digvijay Singh is making the most of all the political uh, updates that are happening. For example, as you mentioned, uh, uh, Shad Pawar making the statement first uh, and then Digvijay Singh latching on to the same to go ahead and slam Modi. Well, actually, the thing is that uh, most both the parties have been actually working on an anti-corruption platform. Most of the leaders have been talking about development without the uh, uh, the issue of corruption, uh, but. Uh, 
uh, one we should also, uh, but on, on one factor, what we should understand is that both of them have uh, their own Achilles heels, and uh, it's for uh, it's for the BJP, it is uh, uh, Yadiropa, and for the Congress, it is Ashok Chavan. So since there are Achilles heels, it seems that this bitter tug of war is going to happen uh, from both the sides uh, in the coming days, also, Ashita. Right, Tabakis. Thank you so much for joining us with all that information. But uh, Digvijay Singh, a day after uh, Modi went ahead and called Congress shameless, has commented on the same, this time pulling up Yadiyurappa and stating, uh, how does this work out? How can Modi call Congress shameless when BJP has gone ahead and given a corrupt minister like Yadiyurappa himself a ticket? And will the Telugu Desam Party or TDP is reluctant to go with the BJP in Simandra, not so much because they don't have significant presence, but because there has been anger against the BJP for having supported the Telangana bill. In Telangana, the BJP feels going with the TDP will add to them the burden of its chief, Chandrababu Naidu, being perceived as anti-Telangana. Talks have also been stalled between the parties and the stalemate continues on the decision with regards to the alliance. However, the BJP core committee meet will be held today to decide on the alliance with TDP and the seat sharing in the Telangana region. This has been an issue that has been long standing now and uh, time and again in the past when people had asked the BJP, they made it very clear that uh, things would work out, that they would ensure that everything gets okay. But uh, hanging by a thread there, that particular alliance, it is all but called off. Considering, of course, more than anything else, all that seat sharing tension has has led to the BJP threatening to call it quits from the TDP. This was expected to be an alliance that will change your politics in Andhra, but it looks like the BJP getting the support of the Janasena and several other Tollywood stars has decided that a seat sharing with the TDP is not something that they will compromise on. Well, S.R. Hiremat has been in the news for being a fearless voice against the alleged corrupt ways of political leaders. He has now voiced his support for AAP and disapproval for D.K. Shivkumar and his brother. Social activist S.R. Hiremat was seen campaigning in Ramanagara for the Ahmadmi Party candidate of Bangalore Rural. Ravi Krishna Reddy, a software professional and Kannada writer, is contesting from Bangalore Rural against D.K. Suresh. S.R. Hiramut, whose activism sent the Reddy brothers of Bellari behind bars, has been fearless in voicing his opinions against Congress leader D.K. Shivkumar and his brother D.K. Suresh. It is common knowledge that Hiramut and Shivkumar have been at loggerheads on numerous occasions. He stated that the environment of fear that was witnessed in Bellari when Reddy brothers were in power reflects in Kanakpura right now. accountability <laughs> Hirimut has stated that he goes only by what the documents reveal. He allegedly possesses more than 50 documents revealing Shiv Kumar's corrupt side. Hiramat will be releasing all the evidence against the brothers in the days to come. With elections right around the corner, there are rampant campaigns for political leaders across the state. Hiramat has joined the floor, campaigning for Bangalore Rural's Ahmadmi Party candidate and voicing his opinions against the alleged corrupt ways of DK Shivkumar and his brother DK Suresh. Prashant Gonibidu, News 9, Bengaluru.